you're saying a thing or whatever without them wanting, demanding to know what you're saying or doing. And everybody happily complies. Because if, if they bring down the economy, which again, economic warfare is a form of warfare, a very effective form of warfare. As I say, you have to understand, it's, it's how you view things that really make the difference. China has already declared to their own citizens it's a wartime scenario. And they've, they've warned them to obey or they've been nailed to the tree or wall or whatever it is that they've been nailed to the tree uh, is basically letting down the nation if you don't obey and pull their weight and so on. And you get more done again in five years of war than you do in 50 years of propaganda. In 50 years of propaganda, that's a, a lot of, of attempted persuasion and incremental indoctrination. As you walk through the schools, waiting for that, that indoctrinated group to grow up and then start to do what they're told and changing what they want to change. Stalin did the same thing. The 50 year plans, 100 year plans, we're doing the same things today. The United Nations isn't. So you're, you're stopped having this, this short term projection into the future. The, the big boys themselves are way ahead, sometimes centuries, not just one century. So here we are going through a crisis with disease and so on. Now, if you truly followed the laws of plague or you know viral disease, pandemics, epidemics and so on, the first law is complete quarantine. The farmers do it. I mean, you've all seen probably uh, all creatures great and small, the old TV series of Rip. I think that, or, or something similar to that. 